Let's add a proper buzzer to our float wheel. This is the Grove Active Buzzer. All you have to do is you take the connector that comes with it and you solder a JST-GH connector onto it. And then you connect that to the servo port in the float wheel. This right here is my preferred way of removing the front cover of the controller box. This way the wires that are on there for the LED and the foot sensor don't get damaged. After you take off this last screw, you carefully bring the plate down. You can see the wires that are connected to it, but you can just rest the plate against the float wheel. The buzzer attaches onto this unused port right here. Quick test before we close it all up. It sounds obnoxiously loud, but once you close it all up, it's not very loud at all. Now we're just gonna hot glue it into this flat space back there. Actually, I decided to use VHB tape instead. Just be careful that you don't touch any of the wires of that battery next to it because those are live. I also added hot glue to the bottom of the PCB so that the wires that are sticking out there, the uh, pins, are insulated. And uh, so if it were to come off, which is very doubtful with the VHB tape, then it wouldn't be causing any shorts if it touched anything else in there. Now to activate your buzzer, make sure that enable beeper on server PPM is enabled and you also want to double check that beep on sensor fault is on. And another thing is when you write your configuration, you now get a nice confirmation beep. So now if your foot comes off the foot pad above a few miles an hour, you'll hear that beeping. Did you ever like that?